Half highlights, they are brought to you by Avera Orthopedics. Grace Larkin did all she could, but after 10 points in the first quarter, only eight in the final three. Yeah, and she did a good job early in the second half as well, coming out making a big time three, but she went to the bench with early foul trouble. She had four fouls, just couldn't get that rhythm back. But Tori Nelson, we talk about her experience and what she does for this South Dakota State team, doing it inside, doing it outside, getting to those spots that are really familiar for her, but she just does a really good job of being relentless and being tough. 15 points to lead all of SDSU's scores, but we mentioned seven different players at at least seven points, including Brooklyn Meyer, who finishes with 13 and four. Yeah, she just got post touches. She got way too deep, way too many times, but she does that. She does a great job of using her body always around the basket, being able to finish with both left and right hand. That's why she's one of the best players in this league. She commands so much attention, but she also did a really good job of making great decisions out of the post as well. To your point, led the team with four assists. So when those doubles come, if she can find open shooters, it works for South Dakota State. Looking at your final numbers, and there you go. It's an 18-point game, and it's a 14-point edge on points in the paint. Yeah, I just think at the end of the day, you take this stat sheet, and you look at the rebounds, you look at the turnovers, they're pretty much even, right? But the points in the paint, and then just USD only shooting 29% for the game. South Dakota State shooting 48% for the game. That's your big disparity right there, and that's why the South Dakota State ended up winning this one. We mentioned these were the top two shooting teams in the Summit League coming into this game, but after that first quarter, SDSU locked in defensively. USD 9 of 39 in the second, third, and fourth quarters combined. That's 23% over those final three quarters. You mentioned 29% from the game. If SDSU clamps down like this on defense, they're going to be hard to stop. Well, every coach preaches defense. Every coach preaches those things to win basketball games. And they did it at a high clip for three quarters, right? The first quarter, they didn't do so much. But what they did is they found their identity. They found out what they want to do and what they do consistently well. It's play fast. It's play downhill. It's getting post touches. And it's getting stops on the defensive end.